بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and I hope that you're ready for today's uh, lesson which will be form, meaning and function but before that let's revise our previous lesson which was the writing if you remember we took the article the charging your, your cell phone can get you in trouble and we asked who do you think this person is what is he doing in the picture where do you think he is? Of course, we read the article about the burglar who broke into a house and then when he, when he heard someone getting inside, he immediately jumped out of the window forgetting his phone charging and then the police found the phone and uh, called one of his contacts and stated up a story that he was in an accident. Then they, uh, they got the whole information about him. Then they arrested him and charged him with previous 12 burglaries. This is the article that I was talking about. Of course, we took the writing corner to uh, when you write an article or a story, open with an account of an event that happened recently, open with a line that gets the reader's uh, attention. If you remember the article that I was just talking about, it began with that a burglar was arrested. So uh, you want to continue reading to find out uh, how was he arrested, why did he get arrested, uh, what did the police do, what did the burglar do, and so. So always in the first line, or the first few lines, try to uh, write some sentences to get the attention of the reader, uh, and always use some uh, markers, time markers, to help the reader follow the order of the events, like before or later that day, soon after, when, or while. So this is, uh, this is the objectives for today to rephrase a present simple sentence into a past simple tense. Uh, tense. Uh, use the correct verb to be in the simple past tense. Use regular verbs in the simple past tense. Also use irregular verbs, regular and irregular verbs in the simple past tense. Use used to with the past tense. So we'll be focusing on the past tense today and the used to. So. Let's begin here with the simple past tense be. The simple past tense be, the verb to be. Of course, the simple past for be, we have was or were. Here are a few examples. How were the burglars caught? Were, with the plural, of course. How were the burglars caught? Uh, they were, uh, there were security cameras everywhere. Was the pickpocket sorry for his crime? was with a singular of course you know that yes he was yes he was he apologized to the victim we use the simple past uh, the, pimp, uh, the simple past of be to talk about a past situation rather than an action or an event to talk about about a situation not an action itself not an event we always use the simple past uh, of be of course, meaning was or where, to talk about a past situation rather than an action. For example, when you said, I was sleepy, I was hungry, this is not an action, it's a situation. You're not doing something, you just felt sleepy. I was sleepy, I was hungry, and etc. The second part here, the simple past tense, regular and irregular verbs so please focus here because uh, because lots of people mistake here in this area what did the police do what did the police do they arrested the criminal they didn't arrest the man again they arrested the criminal the second answer they didn't arrest the man where did they go after they, uh, they were arrested, they went to the police station. They didn't go to the police station. And you can notice here the verb go in the question and in the answer is not in the past tense. Why? Because there's the word did before it. The verb did before it. If, if any past tense verb comes after the verb did, you put it in the uh, present form. So this is the past tense here, the verbs in the past tense. We have two 
uh, two ways of uh, writing them and reading them. Regular and irregular verbs. The past tense verbs, we have regular and irregular verbs. Let's take first the regular. The regular verbs are the verbs when you want to make them into a past, you just add ed. You just add ed. For example, look and looked. Look and looked. Uh, again, the past tense has two kinds, regular and irregular. The regular, from the word itself, regular. There's nothing unusual here. Just add uh, ed to the verb. Of course, there are some special cases, like for example, uh, if the verb is ending with a y, you, you remove the y and put ied. Let's go to the irregular part here. We have two kinds of irregular. So now we know the regular, just add ed, with, with some uh, expectations, of course. Uh, but the irregular part, whether the uh, verb stays as it is, the verb put, the uh, past tense of it is put. Another example is cut. The past tense of it is cut. Also spread. The past tense is spread and like that. So the irregular, we have the first part with, where the verb doesn't change at all. You don't, uh, you don't put any letters in and you don't remove any letters, just as it is. The second part of the irregular verbs where you change the whole verb, like for example, go is went. We didn't add uh, ed, we changed the whole word, the whole word. Go is went. So can you give me more examples of the regular and irregular verbs? I will give you some examples here, as, is, uh, as it's read here, look and looked, like, liked, like, liked. And you notice here, if the verb is ending with the letter E, if it's ending with E, we don't add another E, just add the D. For example, here the verb like, we added just the letter D. And want, wanted, want, wanted. What about the irregular here? Can you give me some examples for the irregular? Okay, I will give you some. Cut, cut, as I told you before, we don't change anything. Eat, ate, we change the order of the letters. Eat, ate, and speak, spoke. So we don't add ed, we change the whole verb. Cut, cut. As I said, the irregular, you don't change anything or you change the whole thing. Cut, cut, eat, ate, speak or spoke. So this is the regular and irregular uh, verbs uh, from the past tense. You can find them at the end of your book, the irregular verbs. Time expressions for the past. Time expressions for the past. You will uh, read some uh, uh, sentences here. Well, there's an expression, once you read it, you know he's talking about the past. For example, the first one, the armed robber stole a car yesterday. Yesterday. If you remove the word yesterday, the armed robber stole a car, you wouldn't know when. So we added the time expression yesterday. So this is a time expression from the term itself. Natalie forgot to lock the door last night last night. It tells you exactly when the event happened. Uh, the burglar went to jail in 2006. Again, it uh, pinpoints the exact time of the event happening. Uh, I went to Oman three years ago. It tells us that it's past. I went to Oman three years ago. Here's a question for you. When you were younger, what were you afraid of when you were young? Of course, you were afraid of many things. Just to give me one example. When you were younger, what were you afraid of? Here's an example of mine. When I was younger, I was afraid of the dark. But of course now, I'm not. So, when I was younger, I was afraid of the dark, but now I'm not. So, I used to be afraid of the dark, which is our lesson here. 
the past with used to and would. We use used to plus be, used to be, used to be. Here be is the word be itself. We used to be to talk about past states that are no longer true, to talk about past states, like me being afraid of the dark, that are no longer true, that they are not happening now. Like when I said, I used to be afraid of the dark, but no, now I am not. For example, I used to be a student. When I say I used to be a student, but now I am a teacher. So you, 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 you use used to and be to talk about past states, things that are going on with you, not an action. For example, what did you used to be afraid of when you were younger? So this is the uh, question form of, of using used to be. What did, of course you're talking about the past here, what did? What did you used to be afraid of when you were younger? I used to be afraid of elevators. I used to be afraid. I used to be afraid of elevators. I always took the stairs instead. So used to be and then you put the state afraid of elevators. I always took the stairs instead. The second part we use used to plus the verb. Used to and the verb. So when do we use that? Oh, and would plus the verb to talk about past habits that are no longer true. Again we used to we use used to plus the verb and would plus the verb to talk about past habits that are no longer true. So past habits, which means action, which means things that you did in the past. So you use used to plus the verb or would plus the verb. Let's take some examples here. Did you used to travel a lot in your job? Did you used to travel? So he's asking about a verb here, traveling. Did you used to travel a lot in your job? Yes, I used to or would travel to any new place every year. Or you can say, I didn't used to like it much and now I prefer to stay in one place. Again, this is the answer of the question. Yes, I used to or uh, would travel to a new place every year. I used to travel. When you say I used to travel, it means now you're not traveling anymore. He said, I didn't used to like it much, but now I prefer to stay in one place. So I used to like traveling, but now I don't. We can substitute used to for would as the example before. We can change them. When we talk about past habits, when we talk about past habits, but not when we talk about past states. If you're talking about habits, you can choose either uh, used to or would. If it's a habit, an action, something that you did. But if you're talking about states, you can't put would. You only use used to. So let's answer these questions here. Complete the conversation. Use the past tense of the verbs in the parenthesis. Then practice with a partner. So we'll just put the past tense of the verbs in these bra uh, brackets. Fahad, what happened to you yesterday? The verb happen. Yes, happened. A regular verb just added the ed. Imad. I go, what's the past tense of go? Yes, this is a very easy one, uh, an irregular verb here. I went to the Falcons football game and a pick pocket, steal my wallet, steal. Is it regular or, irreg or irregular? Yes, stole my wallet, it's an irregular verb, excellent. Fahad, oh no. Do you call the police? So the verb do, what's the past tense of do? Very good, it's did, which makes it an irregular verb. Imad, yes, and they catch the thief. Thief here, of course, is uh, he's referring to the criminal, the pickpocket. Again, uh, yes, and they catch the 
thief. So the verb catch. Yes, caught. They caught the thief. Of course, here it's an irregular verb. Fahad, that's great. How do they catch him? The verb do here. How do they catch him? Yes, as previously mentioned, how did they catch him? Imad, there be security cameras everywhere. B, yes, there were security cameras, plural cameras. That's why we chose where instead of was, because the plural here, cameras. There were, uh, there were security cameras everywhere. If, it's, if there was just one camera, we will say there was. But because there are many cameras in plural, we said there were. The second question here, work with a partner, ask an answer about how Omar's life has changed. Use, used to, and didn't used to. So for example here, how often did Omar used to watch crime dramas on TV? How often did Omar used to watch? We know he watched uh, previous uh, TV dramas. How often, how often did Omar used to watch crime dramas on TV? He used to watch, he used to watch uh, crime dramas on TV every day. And remember, the verb that comes after used to is the base form. Used to watch, the base form. The crime dramas on, uh, every day, he didn't used to do anything else. So, the first one here, Umar watched TV every day, now he goes to the gym. Umar watched, past tense here, watched TV every day. We know that in his past, he watched TV a lot. Now, he goes to the gym. So now we have information. What did he used to do and what is he doing now? So, give me like this a question and an answer. Give me a question and an answer. The first one, again, Omar watched TV every day. Now he goes to the gym. Yes, excellent. The question is, what did Omar used to do every day? What did Omar used to do every day? You say he used to or would, because we're talking about a habit here. He used to or would uh, watch TV every day. Then you continue, he didn't used to go to the gym. He didn't used to go to the gym because we, now, we know that now he's going to the gym, not in his past. The second one, Umar ate a lot of junk food. Now he eats fruit instead. Same as the question before. We know something about someone's history. What did he do in the past and what's he doing now? Again, Umar ate a lot of junk food in his past. Now he eats uh, fruit instead. So give me, just like the previous uh, uh, question here, give me a question and an answer. Give me a question and an answer. Yes, that's great. The question is, what did Umar used to eat? Because here we're talking about what is Umar eating. Because here we're talking about what, what was he eating, junk food and fruits. So this is why we're asking, what did Umar used to eat? The, ans the, uh, the answer is, he used to or would eat a lot of junk food. He didn't used to eat fruit. Again, he used to or would eat a lot of junk food. He didn't used to eat fruit. The third one, Umar was overweight. Now he isn't. Umar was overweight. Now he isn't. Now he is slim. So, we're talking about his uh, body image here. Well, so how do we ask and answer about this matter here? Umar was overweight, now he isn't. Very good. What did Umar used to look like? Look like, asking for his shape, his image. What did Umar used to look like? The answer is, Umar used to be overweight, used to be. We're talking about a state here. That's why we don't put would. When talking about the state, we don't use would. We only use used to. Again, Umar used to be overweight. He didn't used to be slim. He used to be overweight. He didn't used to be slim. OK, 
continuing here Umar was always tired now he has more energy so we're talking about his uh, shape his strength here Umar was always tired before this is in the past now because he's exercising maybe he has more energy so give me a question and answer using was to, uh, would, uh, used to or would very good how did Umar used to feel so tired and more energy are feelings I feel tired I feel energized so these are feelings how did Umar used to feel the uh, answer here Umar used to always feel tired in the past now but now talking about the present he didn't used to uh, have much energy he didn't used to have much energy number five Umar didn't sleep well at night now he sleeps more soundly talking about his sleeping talking about his sleeping we say how did Umar used to sleep you say Umar di didn't used to sleep well he used to be awake most of the time or the night or have insomnia or he used to have insomnia where you stay up all night uh, the past progressive let's talk about the past progressive here we use the past progressive when we describe what was happening at a specific time in the past we use the past progressive as the uh, as it says here we, we use the past progressive when we describe what was happening so it's a description of what was happening in the past at a specific time here are some examples what were you doing at three o'clock today I was driving always the progressive ing ing always comes with the progressive I was driving home from work so you are describing what were you doing in the past what was in progress at a specific time in the past we use the past progressive when we talk about a temporary state or an action of course the form of the past progressive is the past tense of uh, was or where uh, the verb to be which is was or where then we put the verb with the ing you can see here uh, I was driving this is the past progressive was or where then the verb with the ing again we use the past progressive when we talk about a temporary state or an action this is another use for the past progressive let's take an example here have you always lived in Riyadh have you always lived in Riyadh no a few years ago I was living in Dubai again no a few years ago I was living in Dubai so this is talking about a temporary state or action of course this is a state I was living in Riyadh uh, in Dubai it was temporary then I came back to Riyadh another question what were you doing in Dubai what were you doing in Dubai I was working at a hotel this is a past action so this is a past action I was working at a hotel so this is the past uh, progressive continuing with the past progressive here also we use the past progressive with always to describe a repeated or annoying action we use always to describe an annoying action you're always doing this, uh, this. you're always doing that you feel annoyed from him my neighbor's son was always getting into trouble with uh, when he was younger again my neighbor's son was always getting into trouble when he was younger so this is uh, an annoyance from someone when you're annoyed from someone you tell him uh, you were always doing that to me you say that with annoyance another use here we use the past progressive to describe a long action that is interpreted by a short action so we have two actions we have two actions that are uh, interpreted one interpreted the other interrupted the other I was working on my computer when suddenly the power went out so the the first action interrupted the second action I was working in my computer this is the first action I was working and the power 
going out this is the action that interrupted the past progressive this is the action that interrupted me using my computer again I was working on my computer when suddenly the power went out so this is the use of the past progressive describing a long action a long action me using my computer for one two three four hours interrupted by a short action which was the power uh, going out we use the past progressive to describe two actions that were happening at the same time if we have two actions happening at the same time simultaneously we use the past progressive while I was studying my brother was watching TV of course we uh, we always use the word while while I was doing this my father was doing that while I was sleeping my brother was studying etc again while I was studying my brother was watching TV so if you have two actions in the past that happened simultaneously at the same time you use the past progressive with the word while while I was studying my brother was playing so let's take some exercise here read the interview between the policeman and mr john wilkinson complete the paragraphs with the simple past tense or the past progressive from the verb in the parenthesis the police uh, this is a conversation between the policeman and john what were you doing the first one is done for you at 3 p.m yesterday mr wilkinson uh, john i be in the supermarket i buy milk so be here yes i was in the supermarket i and the verb buy here i was buying milk because this is in the past and it was taking time i was buying milk who you with at that time and the verb shop very good who were you shopping with at that time? Who were with you? John, I, with anyone, I was alone. So this, is, uh, this tells you how to answer, I was alone. Yes, I wasn't shopping with anyone because he said here, I was alone. Sometimes you want to figure out an answer, just check the last of the sentence. Policeman, at 3 p.m., a security guard saw you outside ski and snow store. You, very good, you were parking your car. Is that true, Mr. Wilkinson? Oh, yes, that's right. At 3 p.m., I, and the verb park, my car. Yes, it's the same thing. I was parking my car. But I, and the verb go, to the ski snow resort, uh, store, to buy a ski mask so I very good I didn't go to the ski store snow uh, to the ski uh, ski and snow store to buy a ski mask I go to the supermarket yes this is very obvious I went to the supermarket the policeman said what you buy at the supermarket Mr. Wilkinson yes what uh, what did you buy at the supermarket Mr. Wilkinson he said I was buying some cheese very good the policeman why you and the verb take the license plate of your car very good why did you take the license plate of your car when you were parked next to when you were parked next to the snow and ski resort Mr. Wilkinson John said um I don't know the policeman why very good why did you say that you excellent weren't buying a ski mask at the snow as uh, the snow and ski shop mr. Wilkinson he said um I didn't say that I said that I meant so he was hesitating the policeman said very good did you rob this uh, the did you rob the statin drug store yesterday mr. Wilkinson that's the end of the story here and uh, the last question here with a partner discuss if you think that mr john wilkinson is guilty or innocent give some reasons why based on the interview 
in the exercise C. And with that, we reach the end of the lesson. Thank you for listening. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashhadu la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Assalamu alaikum.